Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Royal Rumble campaign. My name is Saiken and today we've gathered in order to uh, jointly watch how I get beaten up by overpowered aliens as so in the 68 missions before but today is a very special mission the 69th mission where we're going to protect the device against a psionically active set of enemies and we got literally everything everything that sucks is in this mission riftkeeper 2 sucks venator sucks algorithm super sucks then we got mutant harrier captain uh biggest uh mutant commando sucks sucks devastator uh, definitely a big no-no then a grandmaster uh, custodian then the normal exalted custodian on uh, on top of that so i assume it's a full squad uh, of uh, them and did i forget anything exalted grandmaster custodian oh yeah chrysalid hive warriors and the new specters so other than the ethereal and maybe the super sectopod i couldn't see any way of making this here more bad than it already is fado Crito is on the line so we really got to make sure that we are going to do this mission properly and by properly i've brought the b team in because they are fresh and ready and actually quite fun to play Endors uh, is going to be our sniper his bond mate zirkim has joined us we got inappropriate Murphy uh, telling inappropriate jokes as always. Roby, who comes in, I uh, spot, uh, swapped out the um, mine shield for more firepower. We really need all of the turrets that we can get. We got Thumper because I need a second uh, Grenadier after Bubble died. Thumper is sort of the next choice. And we got Russ over here from with Death from above. He's going to be our finisher for that type of mission maybe russ and thumper get along well and then can bond as well that would be a-okay for now oh, this is going to be so much pain why am i doing that to myself 69 missions and it's not going to get any better and i think the fetus Cre uh, fatal Crete cretus makes it really difficult for us we need to win these missions we can't let all three of them go through this is one of the few things that could end the campaign, the Fetus Kratos, uh, um, and I don't even want to get to stage 3, because afterwards we're really on a timer. As it stands, I can continue the campaign and uh, research a bit, but when this one comes through, it slides out, guys. hello and welcome let's see what are we dealing with uh, we landed on high ground that's good uh, we got a tower to deal with and in a moderate distance we got the device now the name of the game of uh, any protect your device mission is the only thing that counts is a full offense this time i'm willing to also uh, risk losing soldiers like deliberately because Preto Creo um, is a game ender and every single one of our soldiers is expendable compared to that uh, because logically you don't want to lose a campaign right makes sense Robbie moves up scouts ahead uh, what oh make algorith I hate you Yeah, listen, um, okay, so one of the things that we can do, I think, is moving up, taking a closer look what we're dealing with. Oh, look, look at that. That's a nice cluster. I think I do have an idea. Thumper, my friend. You always served as well and run and gun in particular on grenadiers is not a bad idea i think we're going to set up a double wham what is that double whammy here rift keeper Ooh. i think we're going to set up a double whammy here so let's use Sorry. 
this year. And we do have tactical analysis, so that should really be an interesting start. Removing cover. All right. Let's hit all of them. That's the mother of all grenades. And I am grateful for the extended magazine that we do have. Okay, good shots. We already killed the first one, a drone apparently. Oh, Spectre gone. Lovely. There's another pack back here. Holy, how crowded is this? Okay, well that was unexpected. Tell you, uh, I think we need to pull these guys back there as well. Um, I'll do a little trick, one uh, that uh, many of you potentially don't know. Kill zone is a persistent skill that only ever breaks if you move or overwatch. So, Endo still has the very same kill zone. We're reloading for free. We are setting that mech algorithm up again with a free action. And I would say we need more firepower. So naturally we're getting another turret. He is still very much in kill zone. And I'm going to demonstrate that in a second. I know there's another pack back there. Let's pull these guys, shall we? The reason why I want to pull them is they get technical analysis, can't act on the first turn. And of course, I get five shots for free. Cool. Uh, one went up here, one got injured, another one got heavily injured, and the Devastator apparently was missed. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. How about we're making sure that you guys are fine. Thumper gets an A protocol. And Let's start death from above. I am considering moving over there for better death from above angles. Not sure yet. We still have a turret. That turret can be used to clean things up. Alright, that worked like a charm. 
Oh yeah, we have even more turrets. I forgot about that. Don't want to deal with four Venators. Not yet. But this here could be a setup. Uh, couldn't fully hit him. Or fight. Or something. I think Roby needs more support. Now I can't send in the open, that is not okay. We could hit the spark, we could hit a mutant. Before we do that, let's just put up an another turret. We need more firepower. This is all about being action efficient. One more kill, cool. Okay, this would be a one shot with the kill zone that we currently have. I would say it's fair of us to begin to rush over. We get better angles over there. Let's try to kill this mutant. Cool, that worked out well. We got implacable and untouchable. From my perspective, that could mean we're going to here. We got two shots left over in the current um, in the current kill zone. Yeah, let's hope one of them is the spark. Don't want to deal with micro missiles. Oh, couple of lost. Interesting. Okay, well, we are the harbinger of your perfection. Lots of enemies that I would have not thought uh, that would spawn. The Rift Keeper is actually a problem for us. Okay, stay there, that's good, because a uh, grenade will clear up this mess next round. Lol, fell down. 
did not fall onto a friend, which would be hilarious. Untouchable, baby. Okay, that looked good. Okay, back. Needed to take a short break. Wow, we are in a big, massive firefight, and this Rift Keeper is throwing a lot of issues at us. A three hour soldier, we need to kill the Spark first. Free reload. And let's get that spark down. And now we do have the problem I don't think we had between the eyes. We're going to find that out in a second. But I think this here is just going to injure every single one of them. Yeah, we don't have between the eyes. Gosh, that mod would be great now. Lots of damage, that's good. One down. Two down. You know, I'm just realizing... Yeah, I do have a different idea. How about we're moving over here. And how about... We're actually sacrificing part of the rule. Like that. Surgical grenade. Cool. Solves the problem. Kills the last lost. And we get a mutant on top. Good hit. Oh, I do have an idea. So for starters, you guys need to die. Because you're flanking us at the moment. Could have saved one shot there. If I would have done that early enough. Okay, cool. Well, that worked. Now then, again, for starters, let's focus on the Rift Keeper. Our target. Minimal damage. Can't fully get it down, I think, but we can do the best uh, of our abilities to just deal damage to it. Back in. Ignoring the armor. Nice! Maybe we can get it down. Oh, no, we can't. Ooh. It is poison. It is poison. Okay. So when it wakes up out of the stasis. Nice. Nice. Oh, that was so sweet. Okay. Huge win for us this round. Minimal damage. 
That was a huge win. Cool. Very happy with how that worked out. Custodians. We are no way. More? I just thought it was such a good turn. We can actually do this. And then just seconds later... We do have... we're in big poo-poo again. Okay, I need another break here because I have a business appointment. See you in a sec. Alright, needed to take another break. The joy of squeezing an episode into your normal day when there is plenty of other stuff going on. So, <clears throat> last when we left off, we got our rear handed to us, as Thumper and Co. Uh, now overrun by another uh, set of aliens on this flank. <laughs> and we got more strange aliens on this fling so really what we need to do is we got to deal with all of that and we need got to deal with that quite quickly so we're down to one action here This Venator will continue to cause us a lot of headaches. Let's try to go for the Warrior first. That's our highest profile target. Unfortunately, it's also a target that can dodge quite well. But yeah, we got it down to just a few hit points. Now we have major damage here. And I wonder... Definitely need to gremlin heal. We could kill and move on, but I think there is even a better alternative. Um, that collector assassin is another problem. But it is one that we can hit with a dual strike and maybe even kill completely. The other option would be to hit them with a grenade, but it's too far away. We still have a Venator here that continues to be a problem, but I can't deal with it right now. We need to deal with a flank. Good hit. Look, I mean, we could shadow fall, right? That would kill this guy 100% and we would get into concealment, which then again means the Venator wouldn't know that we're here. That's not a bad idea.
We could either continue to heal Thumper up. It's potentially what we need to do. I'll think about how we deal with the rest in a second. For now. This Venator here can't... Can't really... Um, split into different uh, venators he can't clone himself at the moment um, because he's disoriented we could move a slight bit or we're taking the time to reload and hit which I think is a better choice on the other hand it gets partial cover at the moment which I don't want so the backup is moving here and killing it. What's over there? So we're just going to take that little step. Fortunately not a crit. Down to 12. Not good enough. Thumper. Moves into full cover as well. And our quote unquote quasi mimic beacon is coming up. That's a nice hit. Very well shredding all three of these guys. Only 40% chance to hit the Venator. Comes back to the Assassin. Well, we could hit him from here with a pistol. That's the better choice. Let's kill that uh, collector assassin. Not too shabby. Good. Now, to the actual plan, which was kill here. Slight damage happens, but we got death from above and with it. The ability to move far forward. Can kill the Harrier Captain or the Warrior, and we're going for the Warrior. Not even a question because uh, they can and are very likely to uh, summon additional creatures. Stupid Collector Drone will cause problems for us. We can't kill the uh, Custodies. Jump down, kill this guy, and then move back up next turn, essentially leaving the collector drone in a dormant state. It's maybe the best choice. It's only half cover, but we're taking bodies off of uh, the battlefield. Go 
that this guy also needs to die really, really soon. Yep. That was our mimic beacon. It's interesting to see that they can shoot twice and then still sprint like a boss. Backline is being attacked. As long as they just go for the towers, we're fine. Tower is still standing. Do another small break. Something has come up. Okay, back. So we're in pretty deep poo poo. We gotta get that right flank here completely cleared out so that we can push forward the custodians at this point. A distraction. Can't really heal anyone else. Thumper. Here you go. I gotta take care of the Venator. Six hit points healed. All right. Aid protocol. And we gotta deal with the, the assassin over here as well. <clears throat> we gotta deal with a lot of enemies. That's a bit the problem. Too many enemies for one go. Softening up the assassin. trigger just what we needed let's get this guy down single hit and kill Moving over here. They're all over me. So we got an overwatch here. Ready. 
We gotta disengage. If I move back, that will be a very successful disengage, but equally <clears throat> we won't be able to really re-engage. And Roby needs to push forward so that we can free the device that we need to protect. Can't have three people being hit by the Venator every single time, so we're moving to here. That would have been a great hit, by the way. That would have been a great hit. How can he shoot through the wall? But seriously, how? Like, I get it. There... He can see a lot, but how can he see through the wall? Massive damage on everyone. This whole mission is crazy. Good. Luckily we do have run and gun. question is will it get us far enough away hmm. could move to here and then just tackle it from here I think we're going to do that. The other alternative is to here and then hit the Devastator, which might be the better choice actually. enough away to not be hit by the explosion Check it. Before you get negative ammo, I'm spent. good we could move to here and then at least use our uh, blade storm devastator remains to be a problem so I'm starting to hit him up. Oh, 
finally, thank you. Okay, I'll go. Moving up, implacable. Who needs the most healing? I think Zirkim. Go help him out. Yeah, we got one, two, three more healing. Perfect option for restoration. Super strong skill in cases like this where <clears throat> we really need to counter heal. Want to stay in the game. Venator is gone. Helpful, very, very helpful. And we're spinning off a new kill zone. Can go into full cover. But not before starting to uh, already shred both of these guys. So go into full cover here or completely out of line of sight but that would expose Murphy so let's take the heat whilst we are in full cover Untouchable baby. I'm pinned down here. I've got some serious wounds here. Lo prenderò la prossima volta. Mi attaccano sui fianchi. I hate speed boosters. Whatever they are, they are unfair. You will regret your resistance. We are harbinger. Shot wide. They got me flanked. All right, well, gotta face the reality of these two guys down there.
I need to reach either of uh, them. Unfortunately, I think we cannot hit any of them. Well, I was wrong. One of them is in range. Shall we get rid of the remaining uh, mm, troops here? Or are we going for both of them? It's a good question. There is no great answer to it either. have been trying to run away from the custodians for a long long time i think we're at the point where we can no longer really run away from them we need hits elsewise someone is going to die Healing up Zirkim to get him out of one shot range. But who knows, maybe it is one shot range. Like I said, we are at the point where we cannot move that far away anymore. Hiding behind a trash can. We can hit this guy, but won't be able to uh, kill him. Still worth it because he's almost dead. Unfortunately, I can't hit the custodian there. I can hit him over here. 
uh, would have wanted uh, to hit him with with um, the pistol, maybe even with Shadow Fall. Nope, doesn't work out. So moving into full cover again. Well, now the interesting part will be can Zirkim survive this? Ouch. That was really ugly. So under fire. By the way, that would have been a great hit. An absolute fantastic one. This is such a piecemeal of a mission. I always play like 10 15 minutes and <clears throat> then someone wants something. I hate those days. Well, got to do what we got to do. I am wondering, should we get just get over here? Can't get behind the car, but this looks like a semi safe spot. Now, what we can do is hit both of them. Okay. Good, one down. Another one, heavily injured. Okay, cool. I think we're sending over an aid protocol that gives inappropriate Murphy a full magazine worth of shots with threat assessment and then we're just counter healing at the moment <clears throat> We are just trying to stay in the game, really. Focusing on the custodian. Good hit, very good. We have a hair trigger, yes we do, which means we cannot afford to go out of ammunition. 
And that again means reloading, just in case we're here triggering. That custodian needs to die. Nice rupture, fantastic, good shot. Should have done that right from the get-go. Every single shot deals extra damage thanks to rupture. Roby moves up, uh, gives cover to our Grenadier, Thumper. Implacable, untouchable. We still have a few enemies left to go. <sighs> Thumper gets an extra overwatch with a protocol threat assessment. And we're moving into the open to motivate us uh, to shoot into untouchable. Uh, I was hoping that would work. Unfortunately, it does not. Yep, untouchable, baby. possible timing for more chrysalids to spawn. Come on, Guardian, proc. We've lost the entire cover. I think we gotta kill the Grandmaster. Heading out. Moving up. <clears throat> this is three additional damage per shot. I believe that's the better choice overall. It will pay dividends. That armor's tough. Oh, hair trigger. Oh, hair trigger, how I love you. Reloading. Let's hit this custodian grandmaster. That's a kill, but we also need to heal. So healing first. Killing second. Target neutralized. Implacable into full cover. Okay, I'll go. Roby moves up. 
And that should be a kill. Untouchable baby. <clears throat> if we position ourselves back here, this guy should go for Roby. Continuing to hit every single shot, he's down to 16. Moving into half cover, overwatch. Robium moves into half cover here in the hopes of luring him over. He kills the turret. And then get solidly taken out by Zirkim. Hooray. Who effing Ray. Why are there still more enemies? Good, we're just trying to cluster up at this point. Gremlin, medical Murphy heals up. I just want to make sure we're not being one shot I'm ready. and we're reloading. Come get some. To Overwatch. There is at least one more enemy. This is a complete and utter we're battlefield. The team has worked well together. But that's an onslaught of a mission. I would s normally say this is the hardest mission we had in this run. But that would be untrue because realistically no problem, boss. every single mission that we have played is a complete S show super difficult this one here is not an exception and at some point it's hard to determine which one is the most difficult one this definitely is one of the top ones not because the protection of the device was super <coughs> close but just the amount of enemies like I said this uh, this ma uh, mission here is Pretty much a who is who of enemies that I don't want to fight with. Um, the only one that's missing is the ethereal. On the move. But every other enemy type that I don't want to fight with has ah, been included I'm in going. here. And it was just due to really good usage of uh, our action economy at the beginning of uh, the whole mission that we even made it so far. We're good to go. Shot into Implacable, into then Death from Above, for instance, <clears throat> or the double kill zone something might be here 
Oh, okay, well, chrysalid infector. That would only spawn if there is still a chrysalid alive. So if the last thing is a chrysalid, we don't need to be as so. stringent with our cover. I'm on it. No need to ask twice. Yeah, let's okay. stick together as a team. up into the open we'll take Roby as cover I can handle that. oh look at you reveal into no 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 I want to go away well you've picked the wrong time my friend On my way. I hope it's worth it. Overwatch, come get some. Got it covered. Got it covered. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay, still enemies. And I wonder how. D'accordo, vado. D'accordo. I'm on it. Moving over. I'm on it. Moving over. Come get some. Seeing a bit of a stomping here. What's over there? Can't remember that we had anything that was stomping in this mission. We're close. All right, I'll go. Scanning. No. Good, the enemies are yelling, which already <coughs> will alert aliens to our position. Moving to position. Just trying to be somewhat mindful, I hate it standing in the open, but we've destroyed all of uh, the enemy's cover. Nice. Oh my god. 42 enemies. That was such a grind. Wow. Wow. Wounded. Gravely wounded, lightly wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded. And Endorus is the only one who did not take any damage. <clears throat> the corpses alone just tell the story of this mission. Wow. Guys, if you're not entertained by that kind of fight, I don't know what I could do in order to entertain you. Certainly not showing XCOM content. Alien Black Flame Grenade. This object is cold to the touch, but measurements register its temperature is warm. It's also very heavy to lift by hand, whilst being uh, very light when manipulated by tools. Alien whispers can be heard when one approaches the objects. Hello, Commander. Okay, wow. 
just wow that was one of the most intense missions in this entire run we got some loot there alternatively we're going for more intel i think we're okay on the intel make contact here okay more supplies we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems Installing a radio relay and uh, then we need to get into both of the other regions. Stasis shield, great. But uh, schism isn't bad either. I don't want to be shot down. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I had high hopes for good. the assistance. Well, we did a good job this month. And you have outdone yourself. Defeated all of these guys. Next up. Thunder Mountain still comes back. More damage. That is nasty and a hidden event. Which I almost feel like spending the 30 intel to see what it is. Typically I don't do that, but this time I will. Fado Crito. I had that tingling spider sense. That told me the game wants us to fail on Fado Crito. So it gives us uh, that yet again. And now the resistance can take on more responsibility should you need it. Lightly wounded soldiers sent into con uh, combat is good. Intel rewards. Uh, double agent, good. Extra mission timer is good. Uh, that is good. And resistance contacts. Yeah, that'll give us Africa. Yeah, between the eyes would have been a great option. But you can't always get all of the great uh, ones. Maybe we'll get it this uh, uh, this month because you can get quite, uh, quite a few resistance orders just from covert ops. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Cool. So let's see what we can get. More dodge, great. I like that. Plus intel. So that's already a very good option. Hacking and supplies. More scientists. Not bad. Better soldier bond. Not bad either. <clears throat> Not sure if we haven't... Haven't we killed the marauders already? Haven't we killed the Marauders already? How can they still be there? Plus two resistance contacts. That's good. And that's straight up a resistance contact. Like, just like that. So this is good. I think we'll start with dodge and then with the resistance contact. Um, or not, because pri the prime team is ready and they would go into the next mission. Uh, which means we're starting with gain a resistance contact and put someone else who could use... Who could really use um, the speed there and who could use that speed is there a chance of wounded 
moderate. Okay, well, I would would have wanted to give it to a shooter here. You know what? Since we've just started the training. We'll take him out and we'll let him go here. Plus one mobility will be okay. Not bad for um, for the Psi operative and he will work together with say a ranger, Aziz Alk. Eight days. Sounds like a good plan. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Now, in terms of next missions, let's just double check really, really quickly, because I think we're at the point where the prime team, Dilly G, Euler, Sonar, Grell, Hawkbite and then potentially shadow could uh, actually do one of the following missions we could go and fight advent exalted custodian grandmasters again again uh, plus an extremely powerful alien yay so looking forward uh, for that bow troopers Berserker Omega. Now that's the Bio Brigade 2.0. That was fun the last time. And there's another powerful alien. Or we're going and doing the coordinates here. I think that still has a bit time. Hmm. Let's think this uh, through. I really and honestly don't remember which of the factions are still alive. I am under the naive impression we have the Dark Elders, yes. And apparently there are still the Marauders. So both of them are still here. Which means for this month we do have 20 days under supply drop 8 to get the signal boost. <clears throat> that will free up a resistance order because we have enough resistance contacts. Um, For a second there, Tigan had my hopes up. And talk of the elders. how many more days are we talking? I should have known it wasn't going to so. Then we wanted this one here, Gather Intel, which is seven days, so we can do both. And then it's location of uh, the Raiders HQ Marauder Base and Intel. The Intel isn't that great, but the base is what I'm looking for, because then we can also finish the Marauders. That'll take a little bit more time, but besides the Dark Elders, which apparently we can't find the location of, I have not seen locate Dark Elders yet, but that's the second last faction. And if we can knock them out, they are out of the Royal Rumble. And equally, there are only two more uh, facilities at the moment. So I definitely want to go to a facility and knock out that um, that ruler because we still have at least two more rulers like we uh, the three normal rulers are gone two princes like a princess and a princess uh, gone we know there is a uh, mm, a mech alien ruler and there's another prince and i think that's pretty much it there is still the queen that may or may not show up but I would not say the campaign has failed when uh, we are not finding uh, them. If the queen shows up, great. If not, uh, not the end of the world. So 
we have two more rulers and we have the marauders if the dark elders show up and we can uh, kill them that's great but i can definitely see a finish line for the first time and i'm super excited i'm pretty sure you guys are excited about revisiting the bio carnage that is about to happen because that is happening the next time when we are fighting against 21 enemies including but not limited to mech algorith okay that sucks uh, a lot of uh, advent purge archbishop purge cyborg purge commando rift keeper 2 are you kidding me these these were different ones than the ones that i've seen before like literally before i flew here we had um, a lot of bio enemies and now you're coming uh, coming up with all of those purge guys Okay, well, the bio uh, guys have moved to here. F you then. We're flying over and we're going to go and do this here. Fighting against, but not limited to a biomech, heavy bio trooper, bio zerker, bio lost bleeder. Of course, a good old rift keeper because apparently that is the standard nowadays. Summon more enemies. And yeah. The main team will fight exactly these guys. Where uh, medium term plan is, we're going to remove that, build the radio relay, get the entirety of Africa. We need to place two radio relays here anyways, uh, just to get pursuit of knowledge. And once we have that, 20% extra research time, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, four more days and we got the Advent Exalted Custodian Powered Armor ready. That's good as well. In the meantime, can't really do anything here because we have no cores. Our work is proceeding as expected, Commander. Alien Black Flame Grenade Research. Well, that is going to happen next because my spidery senses tell me again this has to do with the uh, cust custodians and if this is like the ultra grenade then I need to get the ultra grenade. Um, the one thing that I learned is the new enemies are not only absolutely overpowered but they also have completely overpowered stuff. Uh, also Viper Prince uh, autopsy needs to happen. Uh, maybe that is even happening first and viper king also needs to happen uh that might need to happen first as well so we're doing a little bit of a viper viper redo not sure if i would want uh the viper suit but looking at our uh, soldiers i think we do have a wrath suit here yeah warden Ar warden armor no, it's Warden Armor, it's not a Wrath suit. So, yeah, maybe we're not going to use that uh, grappling hook anytime soon. Uh, by thinking about it... Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Let me see, Berserk or Autopsy... Viper King. Just give the word and I'll get started. Could I build the so so much uh, stuff that I can build? Could I build the Icarus suit? Or do we even already have that? I forgot about it. I think we do have it. I'm just not 100% sure. Oh yeah, Icarus Armor, there we go. Good, so I'll figure out who should wear the Icarus Armor. Uh, potentially, in our case, actually 
um, someone with death from above. The problem is that Euler already has a great armor with his uh, salvo and the ability to automatically uh, um, uh, use uh, the the shredder. Uh, with salvo you can use it and still do something else. Um, so maybe in that case we're giving it to Dilly G. So you can always have some high ground. He does have death from above as well, so that's not bad. And Dilly needs a second uh, deployable. The Selected turrets are too good to not take with us. Yeah, on the other hand, the frozen feature, like the crowd control uh, from the spider, uh, from the uh, from the suit of uh, the of uh, the Viper King, isn't that bad either. If I think about, for instance, sonar here, and thinking about maybe trading in. Trading in more um, the ah, that's difficult. I don't want to trade away mind shield because there's so many great options, but I also don't want to trade away blue screen rounds because we need the extra damage. So the idea really would have been: could I use the spider, uh, the uh, this uh, the snake suit? in order to give him an option to engage faster and further. The grapple suits are really, really good. I value the mobility quite highly and having that extra free crowd control once per mission is also not too bad. So I might think about that and trade in the mind shield uh, for that opportunity uh, because Realistically speaking, we already have one mind shield with us, with Hogbite, and he, in itself, by the way, with 93 dodge, is an absolute monster. The moment that he uh, gets going, we, I think, have 100 dodge, so he wouldn't even need dodge anymore. Which brings us uh, to Sonar whom we could get a bit more dodge we were actually trying to get him dodge and the spider suit would give 20 on top so that's not bad and it would maybe i'm actually using it uh, now that i kind of uh, think about it back and forth maybe i'm actually going to use it it is not a bad item but we're going to see about uh, that we first of all need to research it yada 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 you know the drill thank you for watching if you were entertained by this mission and the huge shout, uh, shootout in particular. Give the channel a shout out uh, and try to fan fire onto that like button. Pop, pop, pop three times. Uh, the uh, thumb should uh, be erected upwards. Thanks and see you in two days. Bye bye.